Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about a very very underutilized utility of ServiceNow. You might have already read it on the title of the video. However, I am sure very few people or developers have been using this. Maybe this is because of lack of awareness about tips of ServiceNow and there is very very less documentation around that. I'm trying to help ServiceNow community by bringing this video and making everyone acquainted with these features or utilities. So please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button. So syntax editor macros help us writing template of codes which can be reused by all the developers to save their time and focusing on more essential things like building the logic. Let's quickly jump onto ServiceNow and see what are the out of the box syntax editors there? I'm in service now. I will click on all and I will search for syntax editor macros. I'll click on this and there will be few macros which are available out of the box. And if we open one of them called VADGR, this is my favorite one. So this helps you writing glide record code. So there are simply four lines of code which you have to write every time when you are querying database and using this you will not have to write those four lines of code or five lines of code. You just have to type var gr and it will be readily available. I will go to business rules and quickly show a demo on this. I'll type business rules and I'll open it and I will click on new. And in case you are wondering why do I have a dark theme and you don't, this is because I'm using dark theme of ServiceNow. And if you want to learn how to activate dark theme on ServiceNow, please click on the top right corner. Now I will click on advanced and I'll go to advanced tab and I will write here where GR, which was already defined there. So where GR and I will click on tab and you will see the magic here. All the four lines of code appeared here as a template. So this is really, really helpful for your team, for yourself or other developers. If you want to save your time and focus on some other things. If you are writing update queries regularly, we can go ahead and write for update as well. For that, again, I will go into syntax editor macros and I will create a new one and then again we will test it on our business rules. So I'll click on new and then you have to write a kind of a command here. So you can say where gr update maybe and then any comments if you want to add for example template to update the records and then you have to write the code here which you want where gr equals to new glide record and then you can leave the table name as it is because this is a template then gr dot add query and then you can leave it as well after that gr dot query and then if gr dot next and then I'll put a brace here and for updating I can have a gr dot column one equals to something gr dot column two equals to something and gr dot update. So this is a code which we have written will be used by some other developers or by yourselves as well if they want to write the update query quickly. I'll click on submit here and I will again go to business rules. I'll click here new record on business rules. I'll click on advanced. I'll go to this tab and now I will search for where GR update and I'll click on tab and you would see all the code which we had written started appearing here and we did not have to write 11 lines of code again. So this would be used by everyone. I'm pretty sure it will save time for you and your team. And if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that like button.